Okay, I'm going to build a chicken feeder out of those PVC pipes here. Um, I'm not gluing anything together today until I get everything to work exactly how I want it. So, I'm going to put it together and we'll see where it goes from there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pipe here which I cut a notch out of and I'm going to take this fitting that's a 3 by 2 reducer cut it off about here right around here somewhere I'm going to set it inside this fitting which I also cut the top half of this off and I made a plug out of wood I just took my bandsaw and cut that out so I'm going to take this pipe and cut it real quick I'm going to go away you won't see me but you'll hear it Okay, I cut it off. Extra piece there. Get all the burrs off of it. All I'm gonna do is just put the, push this in here. And set this guy in here like so. Try and get it in the middle anyway. I'm gonna take my big three inch pipe. Actually four inch pipe, sorry. I'm going to try and slip it over there, which is a pretty tight fit, so I might have to use some coercion. Otherwise, a big hammer here. Like so. See that fits in there pretty tight. So I'm just going to stick this pipe in here. I'll take all of this. Set it right down in there like so. so I'm going to tap this down. Okay. That's all the way in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's that pipe. There's a notch cut out of it. So this will never overfill past where that notch is cut out at. And the next one I make, I'll probably leave this lip up a little higher so I can get a little more food in the bottom of it and make it a little easier. But this kind of acts like a rain shield. I'm sure you guys have seen the other video on YouTube about it. But now instead of just having a hopper this big, I have a hopper this big. So I take that and mine is just zip tied to the chicken wire on my chicken coop. I put this plain old test cap is what that is. It's a whole lot cheaper than the bigger caps by like four dollars. Put that on the top. There it's sealed up. Good to go. Now, I'm going to fill it up with food, make sure it doesn't spill out everywhere, make sure it's going to work the way I want it to. Give me a second, I'll grab some food. Got two solo cups full of food.
See the food? It's in there. And I don't know if you can see this or not. But there's food in the bottom and then as the chickens eat that out of there, more will just fall down and it will uh, continue to feed them. And I'm estimating I can probably get six or seven pounds into this one four inch tube, put it on the cap, so it'll save me having to feed them every day and it'll make a whole lot less waste. Um, it'll just work better all around. Save me money by them not wasting a bunch, getting it lost in the ground and getting it wet and losing it. So, I had originally made one with the hopper this size, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference there. So, hopefully that's helpful to some people. Come check out our webpage at mychickhen.com. Uh, we're going to be posting videos and more information on chickens on there and uh, what you can see in the background here that wood frame that's a chicken coop or the starts of a chicken coop my buddy that was helping me with that left so we're kinda sitting at a hold still for today and uh, we'll come back after we get that all put together and you'll see what it turns out to be we got some pretty cool plans for that um, I don't want to ruin them yet. So, as soon as we get everything done and ready to go, I'll come back with that and you'll uh, be able to see our new chicken coop. Alright, you guys have a good day.